So in today's video, I wanted to show you how you can use the Insights tab in Microsoft Teams Class Teams. So if you want to get a bit more information about how your students are using Teams, then this is a great app that you can add into any of your class teams. So it's really easy to add. So you navigate into your class team. Um, across the top, you press the plus button to add a new tab. And you can just search for it inside here. It's called Insights. There it is. It's in preview. And if I click Save, um, students won't have access to it. It says there, but only staff will have access. Only the class teacher will see uh, the Insights for this particular class. So I can see all the students as standard. Um, or I could drill down to an individual student so you can actually check on an individual student's uh, usage of the system. I can see today's activity or I can actually change the date on the right hand side. So I can see when Susan's been active on the, on the site, how long she spent on it. And if I hover over uh, these different items here, it'll tell me what she's been working on. So I can also see um, over time, I can see what the average grade was. And this will give me a nice chart to see that student's progress over time. And that, that could be all assignments, or I could just filter it to um, a number of them if I want to just drill it down into some important assignments I've set them. Um, I can see when they've submitted assignments on time, how often they were late, and how many were missing and not submitted. And I can also see the average time it took me to provide feedback uh, within the class. You can also see the communication activity of those students. So I can actually see a breakdown of the entire class and when they participated in the class, whether they've replied to a message, um, whether they've reacted to a post, or whether they've posted a brand new post on the, if I change this to uh, last 30 days, uh, we'll see the activity here and I can see when they've posted, when they've reacted, when they've replied. So all of this data I can export to Excel. So if you need to do anything else with it, you can export it out into your own spreadsheets and charts. Um, now this only gives the class teacher a view of their class and their activity. Um, you might, as a school, want to see how well user adoption is going, how well the entire school are using it as a whole. and at Cloud Design Box, we've got a solution for that. So this is a preview of our Assignments Analytic Dashboard. And with this, you can actually get an overview of the entire school. So you can see how many classes are using assignments in school. Is it the majority of teachers or is it just a small section of them? And um, what's the average number of assignments per class? You know, was it just an assignment that they set on a training day or are they using it on a regular basis? Then actually you can then sort it by different subject areas. We can see the average assignments per class, how many active ones they've got and how many they've set in total. And this might help you identify particular subject areas that might need a bit more training or guidance or help to help increase their confidence using the platform. So it can be used as quite a nice user adoption uh, tracking system just to give you as a school an overview as to how well assignments are being set throughout the school. So I hope you found that useful and um, hopefully that's really beneficial to having a look at how well students are using it, especially if they are remote learning. Um, during lockdown. Hopefully it'll give you a bit of confidence that students are actually participating in those online lessons and online activities that you've set them.